welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over my 2016 favorites. I'm pretty sure most of these came out this year, maybe with a option of one or two, but most of them, even if they didn't come out, they were found or definitely advertised well in 2016, and I'm really excited about this. As you can tell, this is just like packed full of stuff. So I do have a lot of palettes in here. I have a few eye products. I don't really have a lot of foundations or things like that. So if you guys are excited about this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe before you forget. Since we're talking about it, just go ahead and subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button. Hit that little that little bell so you get notified when I upload videos. So if you guys did one of these videos, link it down below so I can watch it. I want to support y'all. If y'all have channels and y'all make videos, I want to support y'all just like y'all support me. So, let's go ahead and get into my favorites of 2016. Alright, so, my first one is the Huda Booty Rose Gold Texture. I wasn't sure how I felt about this palette at first, mainly because this palette is all about these three textured shadows, and I personally do not like them. They swatch beautifully, but, and I can swatch them on my arm beautifully, but when it comes to putting them on my eyes, I cannot apply them to my eyes at all. And I know this isn't supposed to be a negative video, but besides those three, I mean, they have beautiful quality, but this bottom row, I have fallen in love with. These are the perfect transition shades. This Man Eater, this red color, if that does not scream me, I don't know what does. And Shy is a beautiful mauve transition shade. So it is definitely a beautiful palette. It has a great quality, great payout. Even though these textured shadows, they don't work for me. I have seen so many videos where they work so well for people. And they obviously have such great payout. They just personally don't work for me. But other than those three shadows, I love this palette and has definitely become an everyday favorite for me. Next one is the Carly Bible palette. I think she came out with it last year, but they started selling it at Ulta this year, which was when I went and purchased it. But this is the perfect drugstore palette. Ten eyeshadows and then four highlight shades. And what I love about these highlight shades are they are something that can work for every single skin tone. I've been able to use these on my darker friends. I can use these on people that are lighter than me. I don't know if that's possible. But it is a perfect palette. Anytime people ask me what eyeshadow to buy from the drugstore, I say this one. It works for every single skin tone. It is the only drugstore palette I have found that it actually works. Um, it's not patchy. It has great payout. Even though it isn't considered drugstore since BH Cosmetics isn't something that normally sells at the drugstore. It is drugstore price. It's only like $12 or $13. You can find it at Ulta. If you have not gotten your hands on this and you're looking for something that is good for every day, it has shimmer, it has transitions, it has a few dark shades. If you're looking for an everyday palette, I would definitely suggest the Carly Bible palette. I... Baby, I still don't know why it took me so long to pick this up. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern ah! This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I mean, just look at this. I don't even need that section. Just look at this section right here. It's so pretty. I have it on my eyes today. I actually did a really cool look with this today. But y'all, this palette, I I can't like I don't have words for it. Like they have such great palette. These colors are beautiful. Anybody can rock these pinks and orange colors. If you don't think you can, girl, go put some on your eye. You can rock them. It wears throughout the day. It sticks up through humidity, through heat, through sweat. This is a great palette. If you need a high-end palette and you're not afraid to play with these bright colors, get this palette. And even if you are scared, just these four colors, avoid those colors and go for the rest. This is a beautiful palette. It is hands down my favorite product from 2016. Hands down. Down. A next favorite of mine from the from 2016. A lot of you are going to be like, oh my god, Kylie. It is the Kylie Holiday palette. Oh, look at look at those fingerprints. I have not purchased from her until her holiday collection came out. There was just so many pretty things. And the main thing that got me about this palette is this silver right here. <gasps> you were my friend like eighth grade and freshman year. I I'm gonna try to find a picture for y'all. I hope I don't find one. But I used to wear like white and silver on my eye and black. I knew how to smoke the eye even back then, but it was so bad. And the Naked 2 palette, the silver color, the only eyeshadow I've ever had paint on, and I had paint on that within like the first two months of having it. So this is definitely, I mean, these colors are really pretty. The green and the purple, I'm not such a fan of. They swatch really pretty on your fingers, but then when you go to put it on, they don't go on as well, but they're definitely buildable, they're workable, you can build them up very, very easily. But my favorite part about this palette is definitely that silver shadow. This was a holiday collection at Sephora. I believe it was only at Sephora, but I know that they sell these lash books on their website as well. This is the House of Lashes Lash Story Book, and I have a pair on today. Ooh, let's just let's make it look a little bit more presentable. I have the timeless lashes on today. I wore these in my rose gold tutorial, but 
this book is great. It is kind of, it is pricey. It is on up there. But if you're somebody who is looking to try to find different types of lashes that you like, or if you love House of Lashes and you just want a lot of their lashes, I would definitely suggest this book. Their gla lash glue, this is the best lash glue I have ever used. These lashes do not budge. Once you put them on your lid, they are there. They are not moving. And I'm really happy that it came with a darker one because sometimes when I don't wear eyeliner, you can see the gap between my lid and my eyelashes and it's a little bit too noticeable with clear so I'm really glad that I got a dark lash glue with this but these are beautiful lashes um a great dupe to them are the Ardell wispy lashes or the Andrea lashes that you can find at Ulta and at the drugstore but if you're looking for a lot of lashes or somewhere to store your lashes they do sell these books on their own they sell them on their website I don't think they sell them at Sephora but I will leave their website down below if y'all want to purchase a lash book to store your lashes I'll just talk about these at the same time this is the ColourPop eyeshadows and their highlighting shades, they come up with new things like every single week. So obviously I don't have any specifics, but I have about 40 of their eyeshadows, about 10 of their highlights. I don't have any specifics on these besides these are awesome products. If you if you have not tried ColourPop, I highly suggest it. Their highlights and their eyeshadows will not disappoint you. They are so pigmented. I will say their uh, eyeshadows do kind of apply better with the finger than they do with a brush if they have shimmer. But they have a beautiful payout. I mean, they last all day long. They have an arrange of colors. There's a color on their website for everybody, every single skin tone, every single undertone, and their highlights are absolutely beautiful. My favorite is Monster. It has, it's not this one, but it has kind of a purple, blue, pink undertone. It's almost like a, um, high, high graphic. Oh my gosh, can the noises in this house stop? Never used their highlights before. They are a cream highlight, but it's really weird because they're creamy, but they go on like a powder, so it's really weird. You can wear them on your own. I just like to top highlight on top of them because I'm dramatic and I like to be extra glowy, as you can tell. Since so we're talking about cream highlights, this is the Lancome Glow Subtle Silky Cream Highlighter in Glowing Lights. I got this in a Sephora Favorites collection or something like that. I like this so much more than the ColourPop one. Granted, this one is like 30 bucks, not five. It is so pretty. It has the exact same concept. It's a silky cream highlight. It goes on. I just tap it on with my fingers. You don't have to wear anything on top of it. You can wear it on its own. But it is just so pretty. It adds such a pretty, subtle highlight to your face. And if you're like me and you want to go on top with something dramatic, you can. But it is a beautiful everyday highlight. I don't really know what more I can say with it. It is kind of pricey, but it is definitely worth it. I've had it for probably about three months now. I haven't hit pan. I've used it every single day. So if you want kind of a higher end of the ColourPop highlight, go for the Lancome. I'm just going to brag on myself real quick. And my favorite thing about 2016 was the glitter eyeshadows that I made. That's right, I made these. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation. Swatchy swatch here. I made those. I made that. A few lip products. The first one is the Ofra. They were the metallic lipsticks that came out this summer. These were so pretty. I have it on right now. They don't really last when you're eating or drinking, but they have such a pretty finish. They are not heavy. They don't crack. They do dry matte, even though they don't look matte because they're shiny. They do dry down matte. These are beautiful. They were limited edition, but I'm sure you can still find them on eBay. Or These were definitely pretty. Ofra has beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. Next are the two ColourPop lipsticks. I have too many to show y'all, but they're Ultra Satin Lipsticks and they're Lippy Sticks. Not much to say on these besides they have a beautiful finish. They don't make my lips very dry. They last for a very long time. With the Ultra Satin Lip, I can eat. I can eat a burger. I can eat nachos, and it will stay on. I love it. So my last favorite lipstick was the Kylie Metallic Lipstick in Dancer. Besides the fact that this is a pretty color, it does not last when you eat or drink. You really do have to pack it on. It doesn't stay on very well. But the reason I'm putting it in here is because of the color. It was such a unique color. I've never seen a red metallic burgundy colored lipstick. It was just very different and it was very unique for this time of year. And even though it was limited edition and I know I can't really wear it. When I'm doing anything other than just like taking pictures or filming a video, I think it is a very, very pretty color. My go-to brush cleaner is the Sephora Daily Brush Cleaner. If you need to know how to clean your brushes, I will leave my video link down below on the different ways to clean your brushes and beauty blenders. But this is something I use every single day. I just spritz it onto a towel and then I just brush my uh, brushes or my beauty blender on top of it. Gets the shadow out, gets the powder out within five or six seconds. Really simple. If you haven't purchased this, if you haven't heard of it, you need to quit watching this video and go buy it right now.
Okay, next thing, and this one that I'm really sad about, is the Wet n Wild Gold Bar Holiday Highlighting Bar. I think I already said that. Anyway, I'm really sad because it was limited edition. It sold out so fast. If y'all have never heard of Wet n Wild Highlighters, well, there's probably a reason because they sell out so fast on every single website. You can buy it for like 9 or 10 bucks on Amazon, eBay, Mercier. It is selling for three times the price. So, I mean, but this highlight is intense. This is a drugstore highlight that costs three dollars and it looks high-end. I mean, this highlight is amazing. It lasts all day long. It does not budge. Just look at the color. I feel like the, the highlight of this just speaks for itself. And I'm just really sad that it was limited edition, but I will pay three times the price for this. I had to add the butter bronzer in, just the smell of it. I finally hit pan on it. I was so proud I hit pan on this. I was like two days ago. I got this in the summer. Anytime I wear any other bronzer, I'm just like, but but it doesn't smell. This smells amazing. It is a dupe for the Hula bronzer. I have it on right now. It's a great everyday bronzer. You don't even you can use it as contour. You can use it as a bronzer. You, it's an everyday, it's an every use. I even use it as a transition shade a lot of times when I'm traveling. So, highly suggest this. It is kind of pricey. It's like $14 at the drugstore. But like I said, I just hit pan on it and I got it in the summer. So, that was like six months ago. So, it lasts a really long time. And the last thing is from the brand Purity. It is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm Hydrator. This is a little sample size. But you just have to get a small little drop. It is a clear gel and it literally feels like a gel. It doesn't feel like a moisturizer. But you just get a little drop, you put it on your face and I mean it covers your whole entire face and you feel so refreshed. It honestly feels like you just hit, you just like jumped into a pool of water and it makes your face feel so refreshed. It is amazing. I highly suggest it. So, and you can't forget about the little Kylie bag that I got with her hot, with her holiday collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If, Like I said, if y'all have any videos like this, please leave them down below so I can check them out and I can subscribe to y'all because I love y'all and I want to support y'all like you support me. Leave any comments down below of any videos you would like to see in the upcoming future. Remember, I am leaving quite a few videos and links down below, so check those out. If you had any questions on pricing or videos or anything else I talked about, I will leave all the products that I talked about down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.